In this video, we'll go over the basics on how to import standard MIDI files from your computer into the Phantom G. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll format our USB flash drive in the Phantom G. So let's go to System, Dial to Format USB Memory, press F8 Select, and press F7 Format USB Memory. and press F7 OK. And now let's mount the USB flash memory on our computer. On our flash drive, we're going to click on our project folder that we created. So double click on that. And then another folder will open labeled Sequence, SEQ. We're going to double click on that. And then another folder will appear labeled SMF and double click on that. And it's in this folder that we're going to drag our standard MIDI files and then drag them and drop them in the SMF folder. So now I can eject my USB flash drive from my PC. So to begin, let's press Studio, let's press Song, we'll go to Song List, and we'll create a new song. Press load and OK. And now to load our standard MIDI file, press F2 SMF list. Here's Seven Nation Army, which I imported from my computer. I can press F5 to import that as a group of phrases or F6 to import that directly into a new song. Press F6 and then press OK. And now our phrases have been imported into a brand new song that's labeled Seven Nation Army. So if we press play, we can listen to our song. So now if we wish, we can go through and we can assign new sounds to each of the different parts of our song. So let's go to our first part, and let's assign a new bass sound to the track. So we'll click on Studio Play, F8 Select, let's put the song in play, and let's check out the parts that are playing. So let's change Part number five, which is our bass part, let's add a different bass sound to that. So we'll press F1 patch list, put our song into play, and we can try different sounds. Let's try assigning now a different guitar part to the track, which was originally chorded on part number one. Put our song in play and press F1. imported our song and we've updated some of the parts with different patches, let's now take and save our studio set so we can recall those sounds every time we want to play this song again. So to do that, we press right, we go to studio set in the right menu, press F8 select, and we'll save that as a new song template. In this case I'll label it Seven Nation. and press F8 OK. 
and we'll save it to an empty studio set and click F8 write. Now the next step is to save this to a song file. So we go to Song Play Edit, press F8 Select, and then same step. We go to Write, Song, press F8 Select, and we save this now as a brand new song. So we can leave it named the same way if we want, or we can change the naming of it. Press F8 and F7 OK. And then finally, to save our song to our project, press Menu, click on Project, F8 Select, and click on F2 Save Project. And now all of our files, all of our phrases, all the edits that we made in this project will be updated in our project file and saved.